Hey guys and girls, it's been a while since I have uploaded a video and I apologise for that, I've had a lot of personal um, things going on. Um, that's no excuse in neglecting my audience who are amazing. So let's get started with a video today looking at Python menu. So a menu system in Python that can be adapted for most programs, um, really good for sort of functional programs and I'm going to make it for a calculator. So calculator is a really good way to get into functions because you've got the add, the multiply, the subtract, and you need to pass variables around and things like that. But like I said, focusing in on the menu system. So let's get started. So I'm in uh, PyCharm using the presenter mode today just to see uh, what it's like. I have, I've used it a couple of times before, but never really actually... Um, when I'm making a program that I actually need. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to define our menu. So we're going to define the function for our menu and our menu is going to have a little welcome message. So let's print and we're going to print some asterisk three, four, five, six, and we'll do main menu. And there we go, the first mistake, missing a capital. Uh, main menu, so that's cool. And actually I'm going to import some uh, some stuff. So I'm going to import sys and I'm going to import time. And the reason for that is I want, I've imported time because I want some, uh, I want it to wait for like one or two seconds before it moves on to the next part. So to do that, I'm just going to do time.sleep and I'm going to have it sleep for say one second before it moves on to the next thing. And um, I've imported sys because I want to be able to exit the program using the sys.exit function. So let's go, let's add a choice. So a variable called choice. And we're going to set that to an input and we're going to use a multi-line so we're going to have three of those okay and our import is uh, going to ask the user what option they'd like so we need to give them some options so let's use a b c and d so option a is going to be would you like to add uh, b will be multiply C will be divide. Uh, D will be subtract. Okay, and then we're going to want uh, an option Q, and this is going to be for quit, to quit out the program. If we decide we don't actually want to proceed. And then we're going to ask the user, please make a selection from A, B, C, D, or Q. Okay. Um, one thing I haven't done, which you should really do, is comment your code. So it's a really good practice to add comments. Uh, as you go. So Word documented code makes it easy for the next person that comes along if they're tweaking it or if in a couple of weeks you forgot what you were doing. Um, just make sure it's well documented. So let's move on to the selections. We've got a menu and with the users entered a choice. We now have to evaluate that choice and decide what to do based on that input. So to do that, we'll just use an if else if uh, selection. So we're going to do if choice is equal to uh, equal to the first choice, which is A, capital A, or choice is equal to lowercase a, then we want it to run and we want it to run the add 
function which we haven't actually written yet or put into our code so uh, a lot of students make a silly mistake here and it's really simple it's really it's something that you do when you're first starting off is you just forget to repeat that choice so you have if choice is equal to capital A or equal to A then run the ad but you do need to have that choice there twice okay you could simplify it and um, make it easier so that it's only looking at if choice equals capital A or if choice equals lowercase a by when we get the choice doing choice uh, equals choice dot upper or dot lower and forcing it to be either an uppercase or lowercase and then just evaluating using one boolean operator which would make the program a little bit quicker so let's do the next thing so we want an else if and we're going to copy uh, this part here and we'll just paste it in. So if choice is equal to A or lowercase a, then, but we want to change these to lowercase b and uppercase b. I think you get in the picture. And then this will be our second option, which is multiply. Perfect. Okay, and then what we'll do is we will do another else if. Uh, choice equals C. Or lowercase c then the function we're going to run will be divide okay and then else if choice equals d or lowercase d then the option will be subtract okay and then else if choice equals q or q then we can do quit okay so there we go so we've got our options in we're also going to need an else so this is if they put anything else in that isn't wanted and you remember the else goes uh, like that and then you just bring it down and then we're going to put in a print statement and we can just tell them that an error has occurred. Error, you must uh, enter a valid option. And then we'll just rerun the menu, like so, to give them that those options again. Okay, that's all good. So what we're going to want to do now is um, we are going to want to add in some of the functions that we need. So we do, for example, def add open my close bracket, and then we can just put pass in there because we're not going to use that just yet. And we'll do def, and the next one will be multiply, and again just pass. And uh, and this one will be divide. Okay, and then we'll pass that again. Def subtract. Okay, and then pass again, and then quit. Now I'll show you how to do the quit option to quit out of it. So the first thing we're going to do is give a message, print, and let's open the brackets, put some speech marks in and say, um, the system will now exit or something like that. It can be whatever you want. And then we'll put a wait in, so we'll put time.sleep, and we'll do that for two seconds. And then we'll do sys.exit, which will close the program. Perhaps we put the dot in. There we go, sys.exit. That's fine. So that's ready to go. That's all working. Uh, and then we're going to test one of the functions up here just to make sure that works. So we'll change that from pass to print. And we'll just do uh, this is option A. And that just shows that that's working. And now we need to make our menu run. 
So we're just going to drop outside of here and just put menu and it's brought the menu up and it's saying our options and we need to make a selection. So let's do enough case A. This is option A that worked. Okay, we can just run it again. There's the main menu. Okay, and we'll try, what should we try? Let's try lowercase a. Yep, perfect. Okay, and we'll run it again and we'll try our exit. So we'll try Q. System will now exit. Okay, so that's our menu system working. Okay, really quite simple. Um, I hope it's been helpful. What I'll do is in the next video, we'll program the add, the multiply, the divide, and the subtract. So as you can see that working, we'll actually get a little calculator program. And we might simplify this down so that it's not doing as many comparisons and take it from there. Any questions, please comment below. I will respond. Um, remember to hit that like button. It really helps me out. And if you haven't subscribed, remember to subscribe. It will help you out and you'll get notifications of when the next video is up. And just remember to hit the bell next to the subscribe button.